Hello and welcome back to Triple Tech and welcome to another video. This one we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to focus a little bit on VFX, on visual effects, and how something quite cool can be put together very simply using After Effects. After Effects is of course a very popular piece of software and now lots of people are using it but not many people know how to get the full use out of it. So let's have a go at making this. Okay, so for this tutorial, we're just going to go from the beginning of basically walking you through the layers in which that I've done to, to put this thing together. So let's go, shall we? Okay, so the video that we start off with is just this plain old simple video from my C100 here. Just simple that, taking off the glasses and me pretending to move forward into the frame. I'm pretending that light is shining out my eyes, just move forward. Trying not to make any any sound effects uh, during the process, which can be quite difficult, but you know you just got to be done. Uh, so it's just that that's what we start off with. Now the first thing to do after we have this footage is I because I want to get all the the colours correct, uh, you know, looking good before we start to make the colours for the uh, for the light streams and for the flares, for example. So the first thing I did was colour correct my footage. It was shot in C log. Uh, so therefore it was a very flat color profile. So all I did was add some a brightness and contrast a color balance to remove a green tinge uh, From the image because it was shot using fluorescent bulbs which were quite cheap So uh, therefore you get this green quite horrible green tint uh, and then lumetri color was just used just to add some contrast and Just make the thing look and pop a bit more. Okay, so then we're left with this nicely color graded version of me being pretty ridiculous, to be honest. Um, so after we had that, the next step was to track the video. Now you can look for uh, uh, for tutorials online of how to track footage. It's quite simple. Now what I did is I had to track both of my eyes because both my eyes are moving in slightly different ways. Uh, they are further away from the camera, which means I can't just do a direct mirror of what one eye is doing when it comes to duplicating the uh, the streams of light coming out of my eyes. So I actually tracked twice. I had one coming out my right eye and one coming out my left eye. I tracked them both. Uh, and then you just, you, you're left with a whole load of keyframes and then you move those to your attributes later on. Now the nulls I didn't actually end up using. They don't actually need to be there, uh, but I'll leave them there anyway. Uh, so the next step was to create, go back to the, go back to this. Uh, so we actually created the, uh, the flare itself. So in order to make this effect possible in a very cheap and completely free way is we use the Video Copilot Sabre plugin. So it's a very simple plugin and actually it's incredibly useful. You can make things obviously like lightsabers, but it's also very good for making laser effects like this one, uh, as well as laser effects that come from laser guns and all that sort of stuff. It's very powerful and the colours are beautiful that come out of it. Um, and there's so many options, so let's have a look through them, shall we? So yeah, if we open up this saber layer that we have, we actually have duplicated saber and flare layers uh, because we had the flare coming out of the eye. But the first thing we did is we got these uh, this the saber effect going. So inside here, okay. So we took the tracking data from our tracker that we did, and we basically pasted it straight in onto where the core start is on the saber, and that's where the saber effect starts from and emanates from. Now you can see the starting point, if I select that, is actually just here on this crosshair. You can see that moving around. It's not quite a perfect track, but as it's, as the effect starts, it's where I've set it, set it to start, is that's where it's, it's ha it has a pretty accurate track from there on, uh, and that looks pretty good. And the core end part of the Saber effect is thrown straight out of the, uh, out of the frame entirely, which means it goes all the way out here, and that just, just goes out of frame, simple as. Now when the effect starts, we started off with a very, very high intensity glow just to sort of flash it on the start, and then it fades down into its um, into its more stable uh, position, in its stable intensity. So you can see we started on, on a high 205% uh, glow intensity, which is overly bright, look at that, but then it fades down until it gets to about 84%. Uh, and then from there, it's just a simple, um, constant glow uh, intensity. There is distortion on it, so it's uh, it's flickering and distorting somewhat over time, which is a uh, a temporal effect. Um, 
and that's is that's what we're going to move on to next and that is the the actual look of the of the saber effect itself uh, which is quite complicated let's move on now i'm not going to go into detail but because it took me about an hour to two hours just playing around with sliders to get uh, to get this effect looking right there are so many options on this um so you can see that the um oh, let's just change that <laughs> uh that the the cut the core settings on it are actually constant throughout the whole thing uh this, the start size um, and end size are actually slightly different. So the beginning of the of the of the saber effect right at the eye is actually ever so slightly bigger uh, than the size at the end. It's only a little bit, and the end is way out, so you barely even notice it. Um, uh, so yeah, if you do get this plugin and you want to make it yourself, uh, then you can feel free to just copy my settings. I'm just going to run through them very very quickly, uh, and you can just copy them if you'd like to make the same effect. Next we move on to this, the uh, distortion screen, uh, and this is what makes that kind of weird, um, well, distortion basically, is the best way to uh, m uh, word it. So our distortion is on 23, which is a small amount, but it's just enough to make the appearance of distortion uh, looking quite good. Uh, and then you can see all these other settings down here if you'd like to copy them. Core distortion, that's distortion right at the middle, uh, whereas the other distortion is uh, distortion around the outside and in the, in the fall off of the blur and all that. This distortion also includes the look of the almost moving and kind of um, the cloudiness around the outside. So those those settings also affect that. Now these glow settings, I'm pretty sure I left, but uh, in case I didn't leave them, I can't remember. I did this quite a few weeks ago now. Um, so if you'd like to copy those settings, if they are different to the default, um, then copy them. Now moving up to above distortion, we have the flicker settings. Uh, and this is the kind of on-off flicker, basically, on the, uh, on the look of of this thing, this kind of pulsating look to it. Uh, and you can see that we started off at zero and just bumped it up to 64% as the thing started. It was started off stable and it started to flicker more as the thing stabled out uh, in terms of its brightness. And that is the saber look, and that was just copied and pasted across the other eye once we had done the flare. And the flare is what we're going to move on to next, and the flare is actually very simple. Now I'm gonna turn off the saber layer just so we can see the flare layer itself. You can see once the thing is actually stabled out, once the bright, uh, once the string of light is uh, is started, then you can see it's just a stable lens flare effect, which can be done. It's very simple. It's an inbuilt effect in After Effects. Uh, but to begin with, we made it. You can see at the beginning, if we run from the beginning, you can see it. Take the glasses off. This effect starts to build up very bright, and then it flashes. One, you probably, I don't know if you saw that one massive flash of light completely filling up the frame as the thing starts and that's when the string of light starts the saber effect. Now if we start, if we open up the saber just to give some context as to how this thing looks you can see flash and on the flash that is when that starts. Now let's disable the saber effect and look into the flare settings. Of course the flare center had to be on the eye so you can see that that is perfectly tracked because because of that tracking data that we got earlier at the very beginning. You can see that the flare brightness starts at zero, slowly builds up, and then we get to a certain point and we just build up even more, right up to a massive flash. And now the flash is here and it literally lasts like one one or two frames, it just bumps it up and then goes back down again to its stable uh, its stable position. Now, in order to get the color of this, we just used a hue and saturate, saturation effect uh, with colorize on, and that was simple. Um, in fact, Video Copilot also do a uh, a colorization plugin, which I believe is free, uh, which actually gives you some very nice light roll off and a slightly better looking lights, I reckon, um, than the inbuilt After Effects ones. Uh, so, if you'd like to get that uh, and use the hue and saturation colorizing effects uh, that come with that, then go ahead and do, do that, you might get some slightly better looking results. Now turn on those two together, you can see that's all it is. And then using this second tracker that we got for the other eye, if we just open that up so you can see, move on to this layer, that was that eye. And then this tracking point that we got, we just used the same settings and we replaced uh, that with the, uh, replaced the original uh, keyframes that we used for the other eye um, on the second saber and flare effect plugin bits. 
So we go back to this and we just activate these. You can see it's simply done exactly the same, just copied and pasted over to this eye. And that's basically the entire effect, start to finish. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, do like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more VFX content and actually see more VFX sort of raw me creating it, then do hit the comment section below and just say so. And also hit the like button. That'll also tell me enough as well. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.